That will, that will <laughs> go. <laughs> there are so many hijinks <laughs> with all the crazy things that happened on the Starship Enterprise. So I, I get her an apple juice that's cold to hold up against her face, and she did not move an inch. Oh. Um, so I... I put crayons in the box. At least there are crayons in the box before I spill it all up. <laughs> See where you here. I hand her a bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Opens the cap and starts drinking it immediately. No, you dingus. No, dummy. Hey, you gotta you put doing? that on your head. It's for oh. your forehead, idiot. Ah, oh, sorry. I want to kick forgot. your ass. <laughs> How hard you hit your head? There I place the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, this kind of reminds me of growing up, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? And I'd hit my forehead like an idiot, and, and she would bring you, me apple juice. And you put, and then you squirt <laughs> apple juice all over my face. I'd be all sticky and in pain. Then you'd throw pumpkins at me. And you'd throw pumpkins. And acid. Yeah, yeah, pumpkins and acid and shit at me. And, like, a combination of all of that killed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't, like, one or the other. Just all I of it I would always together. try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind and had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself and get a bump. Hell yeah. I'd start crying really hard. Oh no. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would re- try really hard to get me to stop crying. He would do so many funny things like fart on my brother's face for like two minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't he... breathe. He started choking from the horrible fart crop dusting you're leaving amongst his head. <laughs> Remember when he <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> cave fed? <laughs> Like, his, his brother played magic, yeah. and he would just kind of sit on the floor and use this wooden table to play, like, Magic the Gathering. Yeah. <laughs> and we would run up to him, and I just have this vivid memory of uh, k just kind of, like, squatting like a dog right behind his head, and going, Hey, Eric! And then he turned around and just let it rip. Oh, God! <laughs> and then we both immediately start laughing, and we both run up the stairs, <laughs> laughing for like an hour. Damn. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, those good times. I also remember, like, me and uh, Kaifen sneaking behind, like, his dad's bar area. Well, not behind the bar area, but, like, around it yeah well his dad would just drink Budweiser get drunk and sing try to sing country music oh man it's so yeah. funny you just sit there and just laugh at him doing that that's great that's fucking great it was almost like you blamed yourself and you were you were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out and even though it really wasn't your fault at all you know did I really do that yeah you don't remember to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I remember. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention. Ah, man, to you. fucking. In a way, it was my fault. Yeah, you saw it. Kind of Kinda like this time, too. Yeah. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. You are always thinking about other people. Even after all these years, you're rushing in to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. Nobody calls me a sweetheart. I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. It feels natural. Trojan natural. Trojan natural. Before I feel it. Like you don't even feel that. Like that's what this whole thing was leading up to. Was you just don't even. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a good. Go buy the Trojans. And the, they're going to wear one destroy on your one, 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 city yeah. with a secret gift. Yeah, it's like a big condom that like opens up and a bunch of people run out of it. <laughs> and murder everyone around you. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. 
I guess they brought us a fucking gift, a giant Trojan condom. <laughs> we should let them through this Mexican border wall. <laughs> All right, that's like unroll it. Oh shit, it's full of Mexicans. Oh shit, they're here just doing normal stuff. Oh no. <laughs> Cause that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever. 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 If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll... Uh, we'll each where end we'll up each end up for college or after that. Yeah. So it wouldn't be fair to make any promises. Yeah. Right? Well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? Can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. She might have a concussion, that might be what that is. But yeah, remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. It makes me not want to just go, go. <laughs> I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Good luck with that. And we've been gone She's for a see her forehead years. Either way. Now if I hide it under my bangs. Sayori hops to her feet. <laughs> Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Ugh. Well, Ooh. I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. Back to the classroom. I hope they're all having a big dumb fight. You gotta break up. So we go in, try to hide the thing, and make it back. Ah, uh, you're back. Good timing. I was just about to start with sharing our poems. Hey, Sayori, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with crayons and smacked my forehead. I slipped and fell down the stairs. She hurt. It didn't hurt. He didn't hurt me. Well, anyway. <laughs> we're going to find it. I have it right there. Grand. I forgot all of the stuff. Oh, shit. Calm down, Sayori. Damn. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. Yeah, it looks like she just starts, like, whipping it out to fart all over the room. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing yes, all the I work. Oh, uh, well, Sayori, I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. adventure. Yeah, that. Okay, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start with going working on posters tonight. Me too. Okay, have a look. Are you ready to share your poems? I guess I should grab mine. You grab it. And we can do it. Blow crayons. Let's go. Alright. Mm, I really love your poems. I, I can't believe you've been hiding things from me. I am not hiding anything, but your poems are so good. Yesterday, oh, yeah. this one too. You can't ah, tell her you've so done this good. before. I uh, really don't want to feel that way. Anyway, uh, yeah. Not even not so good. Well, I guess not so good. You really like to admit how much you like something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Oh my yeah. god. Wow, wow, wow. She turns wow. into a Wario. Idiot. It's just mean that you're a really expressive wow. person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? <laughs> you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. What? Even the little things. Yeah. Just like cooking. Why, let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, hee hee hee. Um, I feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. Oh my it's god. It's kind of a weird connection. It's almost like we're connected or something. It's your, it's your fault for so getting in my sick. business all the time. Get out of my business. I don't know if I understand. Sigh. You never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? Oh, yeah, I fucking head. Hey. Fucky bitch. I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Maybe. Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Why? Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. Hey, <laughs> So you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> so, uh, are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we get home. Uh, really? Snap. Uh, I broke my pencil. 
Sarah hastily bends down to pick it up the piece of dropped between the antenna of her surround she bumps right into me. Sorry, it's fine, it's fine. I'll get it I'll get it for you. Bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sarah clutches the desk outside her poor self, knees are shaking, arms sweaty, palms are heavy. Palms are heavy, arms sweaty, <laughs> mom's a spaghetti. I'm a little poop today. Let's sit down, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said poop. Hey, grab Siri's arm and he'll sit at the desk. Anyway, I still have to eat home. some Mama Getty. It's not as good as yours. Don't worry. Bottles. Bottles on models. <laughs> I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. Whoa. Holy shit. Damn. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumbs and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles all in a row. My collection make, it makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Uh, night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf can use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done. I open up and in, and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Did I want my bottles that much? Frantically <laughs> pull them off the <laughs> shelf one after the other. Um, uh, holding them out to each and every friend and each and every bottle. Uh, but every time I let one go, it shatters against against the between. Uh, fuck the tile between my feet. Yeah. Uh, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something, but all I hear is echo, echo, echo inside my head. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, I think game. about the game Echo the Dolphin a lot, so I know how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap! So, Holy crap! <laughs> ah, crap! Where's ah, ah, crap! <laughs> ah, crap! Ah, <laughs> crap! Did you really crap. write this? Of course I did. I didn't tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever. Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Ugh. And I've been in touch with my feelings recently. Now I can feel all of it. It's my almost touches. kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Yes. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Ugh. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. Yeah. The point is, it came out good. You should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. Express yourself. <laughs> it even helps me understand my own feelings a bit, a bit better. Writing is like magic. It's just a feeling. It's just, just there, there in the air. You can't hear it. You can, you can feel it. You it's hear just it, there but it can't be seen. <laughs> You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I've I hope seen you keep it up. People juggle a love I've seen 35,000 PPs <laughs> all in one ass. <laughs> <laughs> The dark carnival <laughs> is your bitch. Oh man! <laughs> I'm gonna like, keep running so until long I die. Since that came out, is still fucking hilarious. Yeah. Three thousand. Get ahead of yourself. Oh man! He's <laughs> always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it. No more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. And seeing the passion in her eyes is hard for me to be pessimistic. It's hard for me to be fartimistic. I'm a fart well, it's mystic. It's not any worse than your last one, but I can't say it's really any better. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, anything, it, anything that isn't a train wreck will take us away. Well, I get up. the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. Now I'm glad to see someone recognize my experience. Well, then keep practicing. You'll be as good as me someday. Yeah. That's, uh... Someone tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this complaint, this reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Ah, you think so? Yeah, well, if, I guess since you've been friends with her for so long, it might be on the same wavelength. Sorry, I'm like playing with my hair and like falling asleep and I hit myself in the head. No, 
And I made a noise because I forgot my headphones were there. Oh, <laughs> shit. He already has a type all of a sudden. Yeah, for this session, I'm just going to try to get through like, the floor. Oh, no, go, go, go for it. Uh, he already has a type all of a sudden. Then we'll pick it up after that because uh, cause it like really gets going once once it happens. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but honestly, it's, how can someone so fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, I'd probably just fly away letting go of a balloon. Uh, you could say we take care, uh, take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. Spider, you know spiders what I heard about everywhere. Amy? Amy, Amy likes spiders. spiders. <laughs> Amy, ugly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my, my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Yeah, fuck the spiders. And Amy. One time, I hurt my leg real bad. Ooh. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. Did she I replace tried... your leg with a spider's leg? I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> oh no, spiders are leaving the gross spider residue on me. Amy has, Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably thinks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross, the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Wow. Damn. Well, fuck you. Spiders are cool. <laughs> uh, I think you just locked yourself out of being, uh, not Natsuki's yeah. friend. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna wait for the name to appear so he fucking even I, knows I, who's I, I, I went with Sayuri first. Oh, well, because he said uh, the name like 800 times since he talked to her a whole bunch of after she bumped her head and, just, and all the king's horses and all the king's men. Yeah. And put her back together again. Not bad, right? Even on a kid's YouTube channel. <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Is. Yesterday was a bit too short. I was just warming up. I hope you don't think that was the best I could do. Something strange. Of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Keep your stupid comments in your pocket. Like anyone agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk? Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some sort of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of. Something you're afraid of people find out. To make fun of you or think less of you. But they just make people stupid. Stupid. Who cares what people, what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone. <laughs> it makes them happy. Yeah, if you want to wear a fursuit and you want to go fucking punch like big, big Goofy at Disneyland because you have made like a bunch of fan fiction about punching Goofy and I was your, he's your first, first one as enemy, you better go do that. Yeah. Because that Goofy's going to be at large. <laughs> mo mocking you for the rest of your life. <laughs> I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. <laughs> well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. That's what I do best, after all. Yeah. I don't like writing unless there's Put a good... Of the big stupid gob. Just to run up. Good message to take from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm gonna write a good <laughs> one for tomorrow. Buy it. That's how I'm real. <laughs> People see their kids buy it. That's, that's how, how I get ass. ass. <laughs> yeah. So, so look forward to it. <laughs> all right. I fuck, I fuck all day. Two more. That's why I stink. <laughs> People like the whatever. I'll cover it in ink. <laughs>
Come on, fucking guy. Um, are you still mad at me? Eh? I guess I am. Disrespecting not what you did. suit you yesterday because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Mm. Because you you prefer her writing over mine. Mm. That's not really true. Meaning when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri, you might be reading into this a little too much. How could I be so stupid? I could never be the cool kid. Whoa! I always let these things happen. Could I be so stupid? Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikely. Getting beat up by the cool kids. Is that cool kid? And that means that I say it. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get through, man. I know. This is so <laughs> fucking much shit. Keep promoting. I people just, hate me. Just got it. I, I just have it, this it one in the next No, we, we got it. We can do we it. Can do it. Taha, I don't think you're invested in dating oh, these fake girls. Oh, you fucking yeah. think I'm not invested in dating these fake ass goddamn fucking. Like, this writing is great. It's not bad writing. It's just, God, I just don't just care about the subject matter. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm, I'm actually trying to force myself to care. Oh, yeah. Because no, okay. it's gonna. There, there's a there's gonna be a thing. I know. Let's so, do it. Please don't force yourself to be around yeah, me. Yeah, I, I know this is what Monica wants. But it's not fair to you when you get when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and CR. Yuri, please. It makes it if it makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. She smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. I'm frustrated. Oh no. I don't hate her, but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sigh to myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants you to be left alone, then I have no other choice but to abide that request. Alright. So I didn't even read hers. Uh, Hi again. Sucks. How's the writing going? Alright. I think I it's because you chose like more stuff with uh, yeah, the Yeah, because I'm definitely favoring you her. Yeah, you kind of don't get too much with her anymore. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, I guess. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Yeah, a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. You never know if I hit a bunch of random words in this, like, script they give me. Oh, I and sure I just get to wrote. make the best movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> you get 20 anime guys on a thing, they'll write Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, sure. You get 20 anime guys, I mean, yaoi guys on typewriters, their big ass hands will eventually <laughs> write the largest book. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori like the other one you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of exaggerating it and exactly what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah, 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 probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? And again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... I'm just teasing and jealous. 